15 year old patient at a Leesburg Healthcare Center suffocated to death in November. An employee has now been charged with involuntary manslaughter in that case. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Peggy Fox visited that facility today to try and learn more about what happened. But a new state law prevents the public from knowing a key piece of information in crimes like this. Next to the rolling pastures and vineyards along Highway 15, tucked in some woods is the long driveway for North Spring Behavioral Healthcare Center for Children. It's an expansive and peaceful campus-like setting with old buildings. Its website says North Spring offers safe and secure residential treatment. Its motto is children and families are at the center of everything we do. But on November 19th, a teenage boy lost his life here, and now an employee is in jail charged in his death. That employee is 47-year-old William P. Herndon of Martinsburg, West Virginia. He was a mental health technician at the facility. The medical examiner says the boy died from positional asphyxiation, which is suffocation. And the Loudoun County Sheriff's Office says it happened when Herndon was restraining the boy. So that tells us part of the story, but we still don't know who that boy was. All we know is that he was from Norfolk, Virginia. A new Virginia state law, which took effect in July, prevents police and sheriff's departments from releasing the names of juveniles who die in crimes, unless they get written permission from the victims next of kin. Some news organizations think that law needs to be changed. Well, I understand privacy concerns, but there's also the public good. Betsy Edwards is the executive director of the Virginia Press Association. You know, if a child was, was killed in a facility um, like the one that you're referring to in Loudoun County or died suspiciously in a facility, I think that the public wants the full story. Some parents told me they saw the ambulances that came in November when the boy died. The employee charged in his death was taken into custody yesterday. In Leesburg, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9. William Herndon is being held at the Loudoun County Adult Detention Center on no bond.